Hey guys, what's up? I'm back and today I'm just going to give you a first look on iOS 10. It was just released today at WWDC 2016 and they just released it for the iPhone and iPad. So iOS 10 has a bunch of different redesigns and new features just to make iOS better as they always do. So starting off, the notifications on the lock screen have been redesigned. And now you can swipe to the left to bring up the camera which is pretty accessible and convenient for many people. Moving on, the control center has been redesigned too with some blue icons and just a little more flat look. And if you swipe to the right, there's a custom music uh, layout, just expanded music icons so it'll be easier to use. And iOS 10 also has updated notification center, so it's just a little bit more flat once again to match with the color scheme and the way of doing things. And if you swipe to the left, you also get to see the new redesigned spotlight which has a bunch of widgets like news, stocks, and reminders. You can add whatever you want in there. Now in iOS 10, something that Apple put a lot of time into would be the Messages app, simply because Apple's just trying to make it a little bit more animated, bring it more to life, so it can match some of the other messengers on the market right now. So starting off, you can see that there's live drawing. So the person actually drawing uh, can send any color, whatever they wish, and the person who receives it they could actually see how the drawing was made through like the intricate process just to add you know like a little bit more life into messages so moving on you can also emojify any text simply by just clicking the emoji button and it'll show you whatever words could be emojified so i think this is really cool and it basically adds a different language when you're different language different expression when you're sending text which is something that Apple is really trying to convey through their new messages app. And lastly, Apple gives you the ability to delete all stock iOS apps. So if you don't really don't like one or you don't really use it, you can delete them and you can if you ever need them again, you can re-download them from the App Store. Now there are so many other features and redesigns in iOS 10 itself. But this is an early first look, so you can just get the gist of what iOS 10 is and if you plan to upgrade this fall. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.